Well, it's good to be with you uh, today, and I'm just thrilled that you take time to be with me every morning uh, as we do 7 at 7, which are seven minutes of faith-filled words in a fear-filled world. Seven minutes that bring love and healing. And listen, right now, before we get into this now for the next few minutes, would you go ahead and just share this out to someone? I'm going to be speaking for the next few days on building champion winning families. How you can uh, have that effect in your family in a, in a biblical and in a godly manner that will cause your children uh, to prosper, to do well in life. How to uh, have them grow up and to honor and respect. There are some powerful things and principles in the Word of God. Who knows more about that, of course, than God? So why don't you share this out right now or uh, comment. Make sure you like it. Uh, always do that. And let's get into this on building champion families. You know, the Bible is full of the doctrine of families. It began in the Garden of Eden where God began with the family, Adam and Eve. And then they had children. And then all of these issues began to happen. In almost every book of the Bible, there's a great reference in some way to children, to families, to husband, to wife. Uh, those uh, principles are all through the Word of God. So we'll touch on some of them. I was uh, blessed as a child to grow up uh, in a family, a, a good family, a godly family. We weren't wealthy in the sense of monetary. My mother and father uh, were ministers of the gospel. They pastored for 50 years almost. And uh, they're both in heaven today. I have six brothers and six uh, sisters. And we grew up together, seven of us children all together. And you know, uh, all of my siblings today, they love the Lord. They're all grown and they have families. They all have grandchildren uh, today. All of them do. And they all love the Lord still today and they serve God. But that's because of that foundation that my uh, dad and my mom put in me uh, when I was a little boy. There were five of us boys and two girls in my family. So I had a lot of experience growing up in a big family. And now my wife and I raised three daughters. And our daughters today are grown, and I have grandchildren of my own now. And I found the same principles that I'm going to talk about this week. They work today because they are from the Bible. You know, in Matthew chapter 18, one of the great passages, the disciples came to Jesus one time and they said, uh, Tell us, Lord, uh, what do we have to do? Which one of us is going to be the greatest one in your kingdom? What do we have to do that? And I'm sure they were probably all uh, full of pride maybe and wanting to get, get Jesus to say, well, whoever does the most miracles will be the greatest one or something. But Jesus didn't do that. He told his disciples, he said, see that little child over there? He said, unless you become as that little child and humble yourself, you can't even be in the kingdom of God. And you have to come to the Lord like that. And then he said to him, to those disciples, uh, he said, if you love that child with a godly heart, then you are receiving me also. If you think God does not put a lot of emphasis on families and on children, my friend, I don't think you've read the Bible yet because it's all through Old and New Testament. So here's some principles. I'll maybe get you a pencil or a pen and I'm going to be speaking on them uh, each day this week. Uh, for the next four days, we will take uh, this divine principle of how to build, how to grow godly families. Uh, there are plenty challenges along the way. Here's the first thing. Uh, number one, I believe mom and dad, you should begin as early on as you can uh, loving your children, training your children, and speaking words of faith into them. I saw a statistic recently that said by age four, by the time they're four years old, the average child has a large percentage of their character already set in them because of how they have been taught, how they're being treated, their perception, the words that are being spoken to them just in the first uh, four years of their life. So four years is just a little over 200 weekends. That'd be like 208 weekends or something like that. Just think about that if you would. If every weekend you make sure that you are speaking into your children, uh, relating to them, playing with them, fellowshipping with them, uh, modeling 
that life of a mature person in love in front of them, uh, raising them up to know the Lord, having them in the house of God, put them in Sunday school. All of those principles are powerful just in the first 200 weeks of their life. It's very important that we do that. So begin early. Maybe you did not begin early. Maybe you're a little bit late bloomer on, on the parent side and you are, uh, maybe your children are a little bit older. They may be teenagers already. Well, can I just remind you that you're still mom, you're still dad, and you have the say-so in that house. I remember my dad used to tell me, son, you're going to do what I tell you to do inside of this house and you're going to represent outside uh, because I'm going to live a certain way in, uh, around you, that was my dad, and then uh, he would say, and I expect you to have that same character uh, whether you're at the house or outside of the house. If not, you'll have to answer to me for it, he'd say. So begin young with your children and realize they're smart. They're very intelligent and extremely perceptive. Uh, here's the second thing. I like to call it win every battle. If you're a parent, you know exactly what I mean. Sometimes as children are beginning to grow up, about the time they get uh, less than a year old, you suddenly realize they really do have a will of their own. Uh, and so you need to help mold that correctly. I'm talking about win, win the toothbrush uh, battle, uh, win the chores battle, win uh, that battle of how long you're going to be on the computer and how long you're going to be on the phone. Win those battles, but begin young and set those limits. Set those areas there and you'll never regret it. You know, our time goes so quick when we do seven at seven, but each day we're going to be speaking about these powerful principles from the Word of God. Tell me if it doesn't witness to you. Let me pray with you today. Father, I pray that you will bless every family, every man, every woman, every mother, every father, and our sons and daughters today. May they grow up according to the Word of God to be like mature, uh, grown people, even in their youth. And may our daughters, the Bible says in Psalms 144, may they be like polished stones in, uh, in a palace. I thank you, God, that you'll teach us your ways and we'll walk in them today. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Raising and Growing Champion Families. We'll be talking about it all this week. Come on, go ahead and like this. Give me that thumbs up right there. Send me a little comment. Just say amen, and also tell me where you're watching from today. Tell me what town, city, state, or country you're watching from. I'd love to know where that is. And then always share, share, share. Okay, I love you. Can't wait to see you. 7 o'clock tomorrow, 7 at 7. God bless you.